And now, from Grid Square Echo Mike 48, this is 100 Watts and a Wire. Hello and welcome, friends. It's Christian. My call sign is Kilo Zero Sierra Tango Hotel. Steve is here with me. Whiskey 7 United Delta India. If you are in the backstage area and want to communicate with Paul or Karen, uh, this is strictly for the people who are watching or listening live now in the chat. You could probably drop your comments to them as well. If you'd like to comment about anything we talked about, uh, the two stories, I kind of like that. Steve, you like that kind of little format, open things up a little bit? That's oh, awesome. Unmute. Yes, I loved it. That was great. And uh, it was uh, way to go. Excellent. Like well, it. I, uh, I wanted to jump in there and comment as like on the talking about the microwaves and the yeah uh, why don't we why don't we pick that up and i'll I'll let our audio listeners know that um of course it's side a side b it's to two shows per week uh listen to the previous episode and the news segment you can also find that on youtube put your comments in there as well that will be posted we'll pull that out of uh, the show itself and that'll become its own playlist we'll talk about the news but steve this is a, a working environment for you uh give us a couple minutes on on your thoughts on the microwave side oh yeah no it's um back uh, you know we mentioned the one gentleman that passed away and they contributed uh probably the cancer that he got uh from working around the the uh, radar and microwaves and things like that and over the years the equipment has gotten better i mean yes we do run at about one watt two watts at the most as far as power output on the on the microwave but one of the biggest things that's happened over the years is the shielding there is not as much rf that's in the shelter yeah we don't get in front of the antenna it's most of the time it's pretty pretty hard to get in front of it and get into the beam width of it especially like a 10 foot dish or something like that but the biggest contributor has been the rf that was leaking out of the the radio itself inside the uh, the equipment shelter or where the equipment was uh, mounted. So uh, that has, you know, gotten better over the years. The same thing with the microwave ovens. You know, in early days, there was a lot of leakage around the door and everything, and shielding has gotten better as, you know, technology has grown. So it's uh, – and and we have a better understanding of RF and uh, – and, where we it has issues and so much to the point that where now we have to you know when you renew your license or you get your license you have to do the rf evaluation at your station and uh, if and that's all part of oet 65 and uh so the awareness has come up and uh you know talking about the uh karen was bringing up the the towers that are getting, you know, torched to basically and uh, in Europe because people are afraid, afraid of that. And, uh, because they, they just don't know. And, um, it was interesting. I saw that, uh, you know, that article saying that, you know, they, they contributed to uh, microwave radiation for those, uh, uh, consulate members that were, uh, you know, coming down with some illness there. Interesting twist on saying it wasn't intentional, it was kind of trying to be a nice nicety about it, but uh, it was, uh, it'll, it'll be interesting to see how, but uh, how it, that one plays out, but uh, it will definitely have an impact on us. Um, it could, and people have always been, you know, not in my backyard when it comes to a cell tower, but they have no problem putting that cell phone up against their ear for, you know, an hour or two and yak on the phone. So I have a kind of an analogy that I use for, for people that are uneducated in, in RF and it's uh, so, and I think of the cell site as think of it as like a campfire. The closer you get to it, the hotter it is. Yeah. You, you're going to get burned. Think of a, a big lighter as a, uh, as a cell phone and uh, put it right up against your ear. And it's like, Oh no, no, I can't do that. You're going to get burned. It's like, yeah, well, <laughs> so, and it usually kind of gets them to wake up a little bit and it's like, yeah, it's not so bad, but you, it's all in moderation and things like that. So, right. Yeah, well, excellent here. Thing. I loved it. Don, you cool to come back up? Can I bring you up? Oh, Roger. Roger there. There he is Santa Claus. It's a, Santa uh, Don. you know, in the pre-show we had Fabio, seriously, legit Fabio horse, 
bare chest, hair, ladies, trying to push up the demographic here, Don. I, I don't know if it's helping. Uh, the news. Equal, equal time is what, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's where we're going. Yeah. We just yeah, want. I'm the, re I'm the reverse of Fabio. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I was hoping we'd get a, a beautiful lady on a burrow. You know, it didn't have to be a handsome man on a horse, handsome lady on a uh, unicycle. So, the anti-Fabio. Uh, Don, yeah, would you okay with the uh, with the radio news? You think that's an okay okay thing? Kind I, of blow I story was though? no, that was that was perfect. That was absolutely perfect. Um, you could not have picked uh, two. I mean, they did a much better job at it than I than I could have. So uh, yeah, no, they were great. Absolutely, don't believe great. that. But you may have to fill in at some point, though. I know you got to beat on these stories too, and it's uh, it's important. Your voice is important to us. You know, actually, Karen is so good at that that I very rarely have to touch anything with Amateur Radio Newsline anymore other than producing the video for Ham Nation. Yeah. So, yeah. but it's it's all Karen. It's all Karen. I, I'm, I'm not going to take anything away from what they do, period. Believe me. For the rest of the, the show, of the I want to dedicate – got a little feedback. I think it's coming through your speakers. I could, I could do the earbuds if you need. It's okay. okay. Well, I don't know. It's a little feedback. Let me drop you down real quick so you can you can make the switch over. I want to I want to share the um, the Christmas season. We just finished up Hanukkah. We got a lot of brothers and sisters that celebrate Hanukkah. Now we've kind of uh, started our Christmas season here. I wanted to share some ham radio type stories. Uh, if you have them, you're welcome to share. I've, I've provided the link that you can get in. You can come up and talk. Uh, do that again here, and that's kind of a first for 100 watts in a wire. But I really enjoy. When we're streaming and we can bring uh, people up and we'll bring a, bring Santa back in here. And uh, let me see the people who are down in the um, in the green room rating backstage. Like there's Brian. Brian, you want to come up? Give me a thumbs up. You want to come up and say hello? Good deal. Let's uh, let's meet Brian here. He's Whiskey hey, Seven, Brian. Juliet Echo Tango. We got him on mute right now. But uh, you're on with Steve, Don and myself. Good. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh oh, we got an audio. No, we don't have any audio. Can't hear you, buddy. Can't hear you. That's okay. That's all right. We've got to figure that out. You hear that swirling space yep. sound? So he may have been an astronaut. <laughs> Who else? Uh, if you want to you want to join us here. Don, I was uh, sharing a story about how I was at Dayton a few years ago and that we both love blues music. And from time yeah. to time, we're sharing these uh, music and link. Uh, the day B.B. King died, I was in Dayton. It must have been 16. First person I contacted was Don. And it wasn't like it was, we weren't, we knew it was coming. We we certainly knew it was yeah. coming. He had been ill for a while. Uh, a show here in St. Louis got reviews. It was strange. I was at that show. We had talked about it. He went down to, you may have went to New Orleans or something like that and played and got, you know, and it was like, take him off the road. But uh, we, we share this sort of um, interest in music, and you've really been supportive of 100 Watts and Wire since the beginning. So I must thank you in this season of thanks for your continued support and friendship. And I do hope things are going well for you where you are and things are picking up at least, whatever's going on. Take a, take a minute here. Let's, let's catch up and what's happening with you. Of course, we know you from Ham Nation. And probably most importantly, your work on Amateur Radio Newsline. Yeah, well, thank you for the kind words. And uh, yeah, I, I was, uh, none of us were shocked when when B.B. King passed away. Of course, uh, you know, it's, it's never a pleasant surprise when you hear something like that, uh, as expected, whether it's expected or not, or imminent or not. But um, I will tell you that... Um, after 40 years in broadcasting, um, the only performer I ever shed a tear over passing away was B.B. King. Period. You, you got to see him. I remember you sharing some images from maybe a, times. a year before that. A couple and of times. I, I, uh, I saw him um, for, my 50, for my 50th birthday which I, I just turned 60. So this was 10 years ago for my 50th birthday. My wife and I were thinking what, I mean, you only, you only turned 50 once. So let's get out of town and go see what we can do. And so like for months we thought about that, what could we do? It's like, 
we, she would take a cruise. I don't know if I want to take a cruise. Yeah, it'd be great. But, you know, just finances were a little bit tight. So I told I told Dawn, I said, I want to go back to Memphis. I want to go back to Memphis on my 50th birthday. I want to go eat at uh, B.B. King's place down on Beale Street. I want to go through the Gibson Guitar Factory. Um, I want to do the um, uh, the Rock and Soul Museum again because we'd been to Memphis several times. I want to just I want to do it all. We're basically going to do everything except for um, except for Graceland because we've done Graceland before. And I'm not a huge Elvis fan, but I am a huge blues fan. So we did that. We we drove up to uh, we drove up to Memphis, and in fact, it's so cool. I let uh, a guy named Pat St. John, who you know that name, Christian, mm -hmm. as a broadcaster. Uh, Pat St. John worked in Detroit. He worked in uh, New York. He's also been heard on Sirius XM forever. He was on BB King's Bluesville yep. at the time. And so I told him, I said, uh, you know, Brother Pat, we're, uh, we're heading up to Memphis for my 50th birthday. And he actually dedicated the show to me that day. I've got it. I've, I've, I've got nice. the, uh, the shout out that he gave me, which is really, really cool. So Pat St. John is the man. Anyway, so we went up to Memphis and we did that. Um, on the way back, we stopped at the Rock and Soul, I mean, at, at uh, Ground Zero Blues Club there in Clarksdale at the crossroads and uh, some, some, uh, some, some friends met us up there where you can actually stay in the apartments upstairs. It was a Thursday night on our way back. My birthday was Friday and uh, Mark and I got up on stage. It happened to be open mic night at ground zero. And we got up on stage with this old gentleman who three piece suit impeccably, uh, impeccably dressed and he was one of these guys that taught blues for years and years and years. He had a band of kids and he would bring these kids in and teach them <clears throat> the art of blues performing and all about the blues. And then when they hit like 14, 15 years old, he kicked him out of the band like mama bird kicking the baby bird out of the, uh, out of the nest says, okay, you, you've got your wings go fly. And one of his former students was up on stage as well, who was just a stone cold blues man, young guy too, probably in his twenties, early thirties. And so Mark and I got up there. I sang really bad backing vocals and Mark played drums with these two guys. And it was just glorious. And then the very next day we stopped at BB King's uh, museum. And then that night in Biloxi, Mississippi, the night of my birthday, the 25th of September, we had tickets to see BB King live which was just very, very cool. I had seen him the year before, too, on my 49th birthday. So, yeah, it's uh, it was just it was the best birthday ever. Nice. And I go back and look at those those pictures periodically. I want to see I him. For, I forgot where we were going now with this whole thing. No, no, I, I, I think that uh, down memory lane. No, I was uh, I was sharing our, our friendship and some of the deep roots yeah. that uh, you may find Don and I. We haven't done it lately, though. And we, we need to catch up on this, but. You might find us on 160 or you may find us somewhere on 40 talking about cars and music. And it's yeah. like, oh, I better go. I've got to go and do this. How's your son? How's everybody doing? He's great. He'll be 21 in That's January. I can't, it, it is. It's it is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I can remember. I mean, I remember the, the moment he was born. We adopted him. So we were there. I was actually since I am a former emergency medical technician. Um, I was actually cleared to deliver him, but it had to be an emergency C-section. And so uh, I remember when the nurse brought him in and put him in my arms. And uh, um, I was I was really cool with everything until the nurse said, OK, dad, I got to take him back in the back now. And when yep. she called me dad, I just I melted because I lost it. a lot of people know. But my wife and I did seven years of fertility clinic treatments where she took those octomom drugs where you know you have a litter mm -hmm. and seven years of that and nothing worked and so i'm adopted I always wanted to adopt a kid and have a kid well we, we we put the time in to have one and that didn't work so adopting tyler was the beginning of my life believe me it, it really was so yeah he's just he's the best and he's a ham uh, n7 tmw tyler yes, michael wilbanks n7 tango mike whiskey is his call but he's great. She's great. She just started a new job. I'm looking for one after uh, getting bounced uh, out of broadcasting after 41 years. But, you know, tis the economy. Yeah, it is. And, uh, man, I had I could go on a rant. I don't think it would benefit anybody. We'll save it for 160 or, some, exactly. or somewhere else. But I want to dedicate the last. Well, that, uh, that and I need to I need to I need to 
I need to save my severance. So I can't, I can't trash the company. <laughs> Not that I would anyway, because they were good. They were good to me for 12, 13 years. So I wouldn't trash them anyway, but no, I, I'm not about to get on and trash my former and employer. It's, it's one of those things where you know what this business is, you know, and it can be really good and you can have really high highs and then yeah. you can struggle and hit bumps and you can make a lot of money. You can make peanuts and then you can be dust. You can just be yeah. cut. That's so right. we kind of know it going into it and it's in your blood. So I know you're going to, you're going to find something that's uh, interesting to you and, you know, uh, pays cheap here, but you're always welcome. I don't know. We just send check. It's like a residuals kind of thing. I'm, I'm, I'm broadcasting for 40 years. I'm used to working you cheap. Know. You know, that's right. <laughs> We're on I the cheap mean, side of town now. 25 years of amateur radio newsline for zero dollars and 10 almost 10 years of ham nation for zero dollars i'm i'm used to working cheap well the this best part of back. you don the best part of you don is that you're cheap and easy he's really easy he, he uh, snuggles <laughs> and, is, and likes to spoon and <laughs> yes. the day you and, asked me hey you want to split a room in dayton i don't know what year this was i was like no nah. oh, <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. I don't. But fact, this is this is given this is given back to the hobby that that yeah. uh, has just meant so much to me. So yeah. Hey, you want to stick around for our last bit? We'll probably do another sure. twenty minutes or see how this goes. But I'm going to drop the. Um, I haven't done this. I've been putting the uh, the the link uh, to come back and join us. I want to share some stories. Maybe there's some good ham radio stories. And, uh, maybe uh, Brian got his audio fixed. So, oh, good. We'll okay. come back to him. I, I got to take yeah. care of business, as we say, in the game. I got to take care of a little bit of business, and uh, we'll come back, get this out of the way, and we'll come back and see who wants to join us. You can come here, put your name and your call sign. We're going to cut down on anybody who would give us the riff raff. You never know. So we, we want to at least see who you are and uh, before we bring you up. But we'll take a little break here, and we'll come back on the other side and talk a little bit about Christmas side. We got Santa here, so we might as well make some wishes here. We'll come back in just a minute. Main Trading Company is your one-stop ham radio shop in Paris, Texas. Find us on the web at mtcradio.com. We've been in business for 12 years. We take trades and love to help fellow hams trade up to a newer rig. Watch our used gear page on the web for great deals on older and even like new equipment. Main Trading is a mom-and-pop business owned by Richard and Christine Lenore. We hope you'll hop on the web and give us a try. Or give us a call at 903-737-0773. We're here hoping to earn your business with good old-fashioned friendly service. If you're in Northeast Texas, stop in and see us at 2707 Lamar Avenue. Main Trading Company, Surplus Electronics, and Ham Radio. It is Christmas week. My call signs K zero S T H D W seven U D I is here, joined by Don Wilbanks A E five D W, and uh, we're going to bring up Brian. Let's see if we got him sorted out. How's it going, Brian? We got to get you off. There you go. There Good you morning, go. fellas. How's it going? Hey, hey Brian. What's uh, going on? Arizona. I actually worked uh, Don during the uh, the Skywarn event. It was a little bit of a rough copy, a little bit of QSB, but I think we got uh, we got a contact in one morning. Haven't worked we either one it. of you yet, but. Uh, and I do a lot of CW for mountaintops, big soda guy. Quit, quit while coming. you're ahead, Brian. Quit while you're ahead. <laughs> you don't need any more. You got the big fish. In fact, I was uh, was on some summits yesterday up in uh, the Flagstaff area with, uh, I don't know mm -hmm. if you guys know Charlie Red or not. He does um, a YouTube channel for, uh, for a lot of soda promotion and portable activities. And we shot some video up there. So that'll be, oh, that'll be up, and, up and about. Yeah, I think if I could get myself to sit i've had so many excuses i wanted to do uh, learn the code when my kids were little they were doing the alphabet i taught myself 13 letters the wrong way i learned how to send not to hear and then i was like oh dummy and kind of gave it up i think i would do soda for sure if i was a cw operator i mean that i mean you're talking about the altoid can and a little line and you don't need too much with cw no, you you really don't. I mean, I I use a uh, a U Kits HB one B, which is like the the economy CW radio, and it, it's it's a good radio. It works very well. It's three bands, twenty, thirty, forty meters with a link dipole, and I've managed to do uh, probably close to three thousand contacts on that on that radio Excellent. on wow. well over two hundred summits at this point. It, it works. As far as learning CW goes, you just kind of have to pick a method that works for you. I, I used a program early on called um, Code Quick. 
And yep. at the time, my inspiration for it wasn't even um, wasn't even soda. I, I, soda really wasn't quite a thing for me yet. The uh, ARRL had come out with that new um, that new award on Logbook of the World called the Triple Play Loss Award. And I realized I'm like, hey, I got I have 50 confirmed on on uh, phone, 50 confirmed on digital. I need CW because I really want to get be one in the first thousand to get this award. So I nice. said I was going to learn it. And then from there, it was just a matter of doing it and doing it and doing it. And then finally, you have this point where it breaks and you go from crawling along at about 12 words a minute where it's painful for someone who really knows the code because it's so slow. And then all of a sudden, bam, the switch flips and you're you start going. And, and what happened with me, I was actually doing a soda summit up in the the Sholo area, which is uh, northern Arizona, and it was late spring and we have weird weather here so it can go from being 80 degrees to snowstorm at the flip of a switch and that's exactly what happened we heard i heard thunder then it started raining then it changed over to snow and i'm trying to get these these four contacts and to get this activation done so i can get up the mountain and i cranked the speed up on the radio to 20 words a minute and i just started firing away at 20 got the four contacts out of the way and bailed out off the hill and i really haven't slowed down since um so yeah, CW is just a matter of doing it. it you just gotta, yeah. you just gotta do it. it. It's the simplest. Th- it's the simplest way to put it. You just get on, get over the key fright, start listening, understand that you're gonna make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes, and frankly, you know, it, it, unless you're a professional, you never quite get to that point where you're good. I tell everybody I'm a mediocre CW operator at best, and most people just put up with me on the air because they want to work me. Yeah, it seems like there's a great eight. Um... CW community that's very patient. I think some of the hesitation is that, oh, I'm going to suck at this and you're going to get two words over the next minute and they'll be very short words. But everything I hear, the evidence seems to be like, meet me there. I'll, I'm patient and I'll take my time with you. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm much more comfortable than I, I was three, four years ago when I first started out. But initially, I know there were people on the other end going, just spit it out, dude. Like, get it. Because <laughs> it just that's why it takes you start, a while. <laughs> that's why you start on the novice sub bands. You hang out on mm-hmm. the novice sub bands down there where everyone is slow anyway. And you've got guys like you, Brian, who, uh, who are experienced operators who can go and hang out on those novice sub bands and help the, uh, the young the young CW operators, young oh, in absolutely. CW, not necessarily young in ham, ham radio, but like me. You know, yeah. I've got a, I, I did the code quick thing. I've, um, I have yet to actually make a CW contact with a key. I've done it with a keyboard, but I just, uh, I, I just, I haven't had the time to put into it. Unfortunately, I bought a really nice uh, keyer from Dayton about 10 years ago, and it's been sitting over here gathering dust. In fact, I'm looking at it right now and it's complete. You can't even tell that the base is black. It's been sitting there for so long, which <laughs> I really hate to admit that, but one of these days, you know, I'll, just like this guitar behind me, one of these days I'll I'll get off my butt and, and learn how to play these things. Well, what, one of the things, have you guys heard of V band? You familiar with that? Mm-hmm. So it's actually it's a pretty neat thing. A couple of guys just came up with it recently. It's an um it's an online um essentially CW chat room. So you you can buy a device from them or make it from them with a little digit key spark, and you can actually hook a CW key up to it. it, it the computer thinks it's a keyboard. Basically, that's what it looks at when it sees it mm-hmm. when you plug it into the computer via USB port. And then you have these chat rooms on there where you can actually practice and send CW via the internet to vary it to anybody that that happens to be in there. You can set up a sched with a buddy and you can practice and it's wow, not on the air. Cool. It's via the internet. And it also has a decoder in it too. So when you're starting out, you can you know close the decoder out so you can't see it and then look at it afterward to see how your sending accuracy is and or if you miss something and you can and you can write it down. It's a really great little program. It's it says it's called V band and it's it's free. The only thing you have to pay for the equipment to hook up a key or you can do it with a keyboard or the mouse they have you have the ability to do that as well but um i think it's a really good resource something relatively new and, and check it out it's actually i, I think Very it's cool. a good a good option to start out because you're not sending it over the air you're you're just using your computer you can do it from anywhere nice well thanks That's brian cool. have a great christmas cool. if you celebrate i hope you get what Likewise, you need guys. or or uh, at least be safe and healthy through it and we'll catch you uh hopefully next saturday come and let us know what you worked on excellent thanks guys thanks for having me by Cool. Thanks. Hey, Brian, if you haven't sent me a card, send me one, dude. I'll get one back to you. Okay, cool. Yeah, he heard you. Thumbs up there. Let's go out to New Jersey where I know they were hanging out. We're going to the phones. Let's go to the phones with Will Banks and Steve. <laughs> Paramus line two. <laughs> oh, New Jersey, go. 
Hey guys, how you doing? Hey Paul. <laughs> I don't know oh, why yeah. I'm getting I'm getting two things coming through. You know, one one is like it's almost like a a, a second and a half delay. I don't know if it's bothering you guys or not. If you have YouTube yeah. on, just kill the YouTube and watch yeah, this. Yeah, you may just have to mute your uh mute mute your whatever you were watching us on. There we go. I think we I think we've got it. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, welcome to New Jersey. How's your shovel? Your shovel been busy? No, it hasn't. What? No, we had we had uh, about an inch and a half of rain. Okay. Uh, and it wasn't even freezing rain. It was a typical nor'easter for us here. We're on the loop. I hear my <laughs> stuff. I'm like, guys, it's All really right. stuck. In I don't know what the heck is going on here, but that's okay. Uh, it's probably. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah. I something's open. Up here. One is the ha- you know the uh, the Hamily, and then the other one. All right, let me let me if 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 I lose you, I'll I'll try to get back. Let me That's let okay. me just go ahead go ahead and play with that. Let's let's go out to uh to Germany. This is a guy you both probably know. He put a different call sign up here, thinking he tricked me because I see his DD five LP and I just don't open the door. Now he's showing <laughs> off. He's got <laughs> oh. he's got, he's got two. <laughs> And I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that looks good. Let's uh, get the Aussie guy. Uh, let's get the Aussie in from via Germany. <laughs> How you doing, Ed? Yeah. No, well, I lived, I lived, I lived there for nearly 19 years. So uh, um, even though I'm Tom, as far as they're concerned, not doing too bad. Merry Christmas to everybody. Hope everybody's uh, keeping well. And um, yeah, let's hope for a better year in 2021 in all world. We're losing. We got a bit of a choppy uh, contact yeah, on you, but uh, I, we we caught most of that. I I wanted to see if there uh, for Christmas time, if there's a chance for you to uh, to look at something. You're a big soda activator where you are. Anything you're looking at uh, for your interest in the hobby? Um, well, as far as soda goes, I managed to get out about three days, four days ago, just before the lockdown. Um, we've now got a complete lockdown with curfew, uh, so uh, no uh, no sort of activations until the middle of January, more likely end of January when the lockdown comes off. Um, it was expected, and uh, many countries in uh, Europe are doing the same. Um, uh, you know, France, Italy, uh, Austria, um, we're all in the same boat. Uh, we've got to stop the uh, the number of uh, infections from COVID rising so much and the number of deaths. And uh, the only way that uh, they found that works is uh, lockdown, stop the people meeting each other. And uh, that will mean for many people um, a much quieter Christmas this year than normal. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, hey... You better do it this way and live through the uh, the period than uh, than the other side, the other option, the other possibilities. Uh, so, yeah, um, we're pretty cool about it. Uh, we're lucky enough to live out in the countryside, so uh, um, my sympathies go to people living in the towns in uh, in Europe because uh, being oh, locked down rough. into uh, into their apartments and things is rough. And um, I think so. Steve, he's basically telling us. I've got everything I need, young man. Yeah. I don't need this activation. I've got it all in my bag. Oh, and once I, I'm let no. out of the house, oh, I, I <laughs> wish, I wish, I wish I could get out and get a few more points because uh, at the moment in summits on the air, we're in the winter bonus point. So a summit that might normally give you one point if you activate it gives you four points because three additional points. Um, so you know it's a good time to activate summits. Um, there's not that much snow on the ground, maybe an inch or two on some of the summits now. Uh, so it's, you know, it's the kind of time that I usually activate it, uh, but can't do it. So we'll have to wait until next year. You know, then, uh, I was all watching, the ge- all the gears ready. Sorry, I was I was watching the local news yesterday and uh, here in, in in New Orleans, and they had a a local doctor who happens to be that radio that television station's medical director their reporter of choice and he was on and basically he says if you want christmas next year you got to skip it this year so that's yeah. what we all have to do we all have to we we have to wear the mask we have to stay 
you know, outside of six feet of each other. We've got to do the virtual thing. We've got to make the sacrifice now so that normal C returns, because if we don't, it ain't. We're just going to so prolong 2020 that's into exactly, 2021. That's exactly right. Yep. That's exactly yep. right. So give it up now to get it next year. Well, Ed, have a great Christmas. I forgot. I was looking at the chat for a second. We have to give away an antenna. So I'm, I'm like, yeah, we've got to do that. But I'll try to rig it for you. And then your call sign has changed. You're a man of mystery. Look at his DB5 LP now. I get it. So I get two DX entities out of uh, working you this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe. Maybe oh, even maybe. three. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe <laughs> if I want you to. I see. Perhaps. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Yeah, look at this yeah I, I, I actually hold three legal call signs in, in different countries, so. Yep. There you go. You can be this labeled my as a call sign hoarder. <laughs> yeah, that's my on, original that's why call I can't sign. Get, I can't get that's why you can't go to call, call sign. Yeah. <laughs> hey, have a merry Christmas. We'll uh, we'll catch you again. Yep. Soon, okay. Thanks for everything. Appreciate See you later. later. We got to give away an antenna. Don. We've been doing this the uh, twelve weeks Gross. of antenna giveaway, and you can get yourself eligible anytime during the show if you put your call sign in the chat. Your eligible so cool. the people from last week uh put their names in they were uh, assigned a number put in the bowl my children match up the number to the name and this week's winner is jeff <gasps> very cool kilo nice. one Congrats. juliet delta papa so congratulations yeah, jeff off center fed on that one yeah i think he's off center fed guy this week and then okay. uh we have to rotate we've got a couple others so jeff it's okay if you're not in the chat now We'll get uh, that antenna sent off to you. Now, for next week, right. Don, we'll tell you some of the options we have to give away. So let's see if people are putting their, their name and their call sign. Put that in the chat, and uh, we'll pick them up tomorrow, put them in there, and give away another antenna. We've got an old-fashioned dipole playing on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> it's not good. You can tell I've been on the sauce a little much, but that's kind of <laughs> good. I think we could put that together. We've got a dipole. With, with the Cut with apologies point. to three dog night <laughs> <laughs> yeah that wasn't so their, their lawyer is going to yeah. be contacting us for yeah. <laughs> the algorithm for anyway, this show. So, you know, <laughs> i mean we were talking about betty white we were talking about uh, oh too, too many things uh the golden girls betty white uh you know things like that with your when you're with your gear not working out for you so uh we'll be all over the place with youtube hopefully we'll pick up a, a bunch of new subscribers with our uh Betty White talk, mm -hmm. but we've got in a, a 40 meter dipole. You can cut that down to whatever bands you might want to do. Uh, from there, we've got a loop, a 40 meter loop. You might have to help me remember all these, Steve. Uh, we have a off center Feb. We have an N Fed. Yeah. And the flagpole. We have a flagpole antenna, which I don't okay, know what fan that is. Yeah. yeah. So, Don, what do you think? What do you think we should give what away? Think, buddy? What you know, you we mean? just you just did the the off center fed, which I'm a huge off center fed guy. Mm -hmm. I've got an 80 meter and a 160 off center fed. And by the way, those that 80 meter works great on six. By the way, that's a pretty really? doggone good six meter antenna. Hmm. Um, I remember one uh, one field day several years ago, six was open, and I made more more uh, contacts on six than I did on HF with that antenna. So that's a an 80 meter off center fed is a is a pretty doggone good six meter antenna. I like the idea of the loop. I mean, since you know, you're, you're kind of stuck inside. Um, you could, uh, if you don't have the room to throw up or, you know, to throw it, well, everyone has the room to throw up, but if you don't have the room to install an antenna, uh, you could, <laughs> the you loop room is when great you to, throw up, that's when you yeah, have the room exactly. after you <laughs> throw up on it. But, uh, yeah, if you don't have the room to install a, uh, you know, a wire or anything like that, uh, if you've got a, an HOA to deal with, do the loop. Yeah. I like the, is it a magnetic loop? Is that what we're talking about? No, or it's a, a loop. antenna. Yes, forty meter sky loop. Oh, it's an actual. Oh, it's a sky loop. Oh, well then. Oh, that'd be like a hundred. You can edit everything else. I just edit everything out that I just said about putting up an antenna. No, oh, you can wrap it around. But no, your... I like the idea of the loop. I like the idea of the loop. Yeah, yeah. Do the loop. Okay. Do the loop. Cool. Cool. I'm do the loop. Put your call sign in the chat to be eligible. We'll pull all those out of there anytime during the chat. By the way, it doesn't have to be at the moment. Uh, let's say, uh, let's say hello to uh, somebody. Who probably wants to meet Don for the first time. Let's see if Joe's met. <laughs> Hey, Joe. Kilo hey, 5, Joe. Yankee, Victor Yankee. How's it going? Doing pretty good. How y'all doing? 
Hey, oh, Joe. Have you, met, have you met Don yet? I know you've met uh, Steve and myself earlier from meet and greets and those sorts of things, but it uh, might be your first time meeting Don, or maybe you've worked him on the air. May have worked him on the air since he's in Louisiana, and I'm just here in Mississippi, but uh, first time on the video. So hello, well, Where Don. in Mississippi are you? We're in North Mississippi, just uh, 75 miles southeast of Memphis, Tennessee. Okay. Well, I'm in Picayune, so I, I actually live in Mississippi, so I'm a little bit south of you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I know where that's at. And Christian, mm -hmm. my battery ran down waiting for uh, the pre-show, so I don't have my back lighting. But let's see. <laughs> let's see. I did something just for you. Okay. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, 75A4. So, so no, it's a 51J. 51J? Yeah, go a little older there. Okay. So, uh, oh, I did so well. I brought that out of the shed and lugged that 60-pound thing in here, but... My battery ran down from a light, so I got my dad's old Hammerlin here, and he he Let's lives sort of around on, a little bit. Oh, look here. at this! Oh, look we're throwing that. them on the table, Don. This is the part where the Let's yeah, throw it down. I'm gonna Let's throw them on the table. There, this is, this is there we go. Talking, talking about the Collins on the pre-show, and I was like, uh -huh. <laughs> I'm such a slut. I remember. <laughs> Dr. We're not Bob, in the pre-show anymore, Steve. Doctor uh, Bob told me uh, years ago, I. There, you know, I was interested in Collins, you know, because I it was one of the big brands that were kind of out there. And Drake was what I ended up popping on. But he told me, he said, you know, they were military and uh, you have to be hands handsy with it, you know, meaning you got to be able to fix it. And, you know, ki kindly telling me like that may not be where you want to start on HF, you know, because you've made a living behind this thing. You may not want to get that. But I've always had a real, like, you know, I, they're just beautiful. Look at Steve. <laughs> if you could just get out of there, Steve. Just give me a minute. Get out of there. Let me yeah. give you a little. <laughs> I've never owned a Collins. Don, have you ever had a Collins rig? No. Uh, the uh, the oldest rig I had, I had a Swan 500 CX, which I I, uh, I bought from a uh, from a local ham for 100 bucks, and ended up selling it later for a hundred bucks. I really should have kept it because it was a really, really low serial number. There is a, there is a, a Swan net and a, a Swan guru. And, and I sent him the serial number and he did some research on it. And it was like number eight or nine off of the, uh, off of the assembly line past the, um, past the prototype. So I really wow. should have kept it, but like a moron, I sold it. And I would really like to get another 500 CX because uh, I just really, I really like the Swan radios. I really, really do. Look at this. Beautiful. Uh -huh. Well, I've hit yep. my time uh, here on the second show. I could do a little bit of extra time, but what I'd like to do for the people who listen in audio, you're, you're all willing to, if you're, you're uh, invited to hang. I'm going to button up the show as people are going to listen to it and watch it, um, you know, on YouTube or listen in their cars as they're going, just because we like to keep a good time uh, for the, the folks. However, on the stream, we can carry this over a little bit more. Everybody's welcome to hang out if you'd like to. If you got to go, I know it's Saturday and you got things to do. You're welcome to stay, but we can do an extra 10 minutes or something like that. Don, thanks for coming by, man. It's great to see you and great to talk Thank to you, you again. Christian. I missed you. Good to be here, man. Thanks. Steve, as always, it's great to be with you. We, we've got so much to do. We didn't even get to our questions and answers this oh. week. Uh, we probably need to no, do this that, but great. this is just yeah. a free-for-all. Joe, it's yeah, great it's to Christmas see party. you again. A, it exactly. is. It's like the Christmas party, and I'm trying it's to figure out who's, who's going to get right. bombed the fastest and make the most. In, in a pro I'm trying to just get out of here before it becomes you know, a problem. Right this, is, you, this was only coffee this morning. Only right. coffee. Mine, had, this mine was mostly coffee and a little bit of the thing called Bailey's. I got a little something. Nice. I don't know. It's, it's, I think it's a flavored only creamer. Coffee. Yeah, only yeah. coffee for me too. Yeah, Joe, I got to keep Mickey's, you know, sober. <laughs> Joe, thanks for coming by, man. I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna Good sign you, here Joe. for this. Thank you. And uh, if you want to stick around, guys, we can do an extra ten minutes. Let me button up the show, do, for, do, do, do. Let me, dodo, dodo, dodo. Do, do, do. What you call me? How many three dodos? All right, I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> To join the 100 Watts in a Wire community, visit 100wattsinawire.com.